took effect. Breaking barriers, the nominee to be the next Chief Justice of the State Supreme Court would be the first openly gay leader in any state Supreme Court in the country. Andrew McDonald has been on the Connecticut Supreme Court since 2013. And New State's Mario Boone is live tonight with reaction to his nomination. Mario. Well, gay rights activists and political bigwigs alike applauding McDonald's nomination tonight. Earlier today, we caught up with McDonald at the Capitol. I want to thank my husband, Charles, who has stood by me and supported me with unconditional love. Andrew McDonald is openly gay and no stranger to milestones. He made history in 2013 when Governor Daniel Malloy nominated him to the Connecticut Supreme Court. Five years later, McDonald is making history again. It is my intention to nominate Associate Justice Andrew McDonald. This time, he's nominated to be Supreme Court Chief Justice. Thank you, uh, Governor Malloy. I'm deeply grateful. He shared his appreciation Monday at a news conference with the governor. The prospect of leading that court as Chief Justice would be, be the honor of my professional life. If confirmed, Justice McDonald will become the first openly gay Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of any state in our country. McDonald and the governor's now friendship dates honor. way back to Malloy's days as mayor of Stamford. News of McDonald's nomination spread like wildfire at the state capitol where he previously served as a state senator. A flurry of political heavyweights released statements supporting the move. <laughs> a distinction not lost on gay rights advocate Patrick Dunn. It's exciting to hear um, that a member of the LGBTQ community is going to have such an important voice in our justice system. Dunn tells us McDonald's nomination is a sign of progress for people fed up with being oppressed. Hopefully that opens the door for many more people to come after him and, and take similar steps. Now, if McDonald is confirmed, he will replace the current Chief Justice, Chase Rogers, who is retiring after 20 years on the bench. And there is no word tonight when the confirmation hearings will get underway in Hartford. We are live in News 8 Control. I'm Mario Boone, News 8. All right, Mario, thank you. Well, is Oprah thinking about